Steva Plus training video step three review. Let's go to the review screen. At the top left corner of our screen, we'll find the review button. Simply left click on the button and we'll now proceed to the review. The review screen is made up of various areas. We have first our video player on the left hand side. We have our game events that we marked in the record mark screen. We have our sorted events playlist, which are events that will sort into our sorted events playlist section so that we can create custom movies and create playlists. Located right below the video player, we have various tabs. And above the game events section, to the right, we have our game video location, our build details, and our web upload. We'll go through that information a little later. First, let's look at simply reviewing the game events that we've marked. If we left click on the events, we'll automatically see the event play in the video player and only the segment of time that we actually programmed when we marked the event. We can right click on the event and bring up a different menu that allows us to do custom edits. We can edit any of the information by right clicking on any given event. We can change the start time, the end time, the event, add sub events, create even notes. This will make it easier to find information later. And everything is automatically saved. If we want, we can also use hotkeys. If you hold down the control key on your keyboard, while you are left clicking on a particular event, it will bring up the submenu for that particular event or that particular column, depending on what you are looking at doing. Even if you mark and identify an event incorrectly in the recording and marking, we can always go back and change it later. And if we selected a group of events, we can change an entire group all at once. By left clicking, we see the actual event in addition, we can also right click and add to the sorted section any event for an actual meeting or a playlist or a movie. By right clicking and adding to sorted, the event is automatically transferred to the sorted section. Keep in mind that if we make any changes in the game event section, they are permanent. If we make changes in the sorted event section, they are not. As we add events that we want to present, they are automatically located in the sorted events playlist area. And the same thing is here. If you left click, automatically plays the video. And if you right click, it brings up a different menu. Now underneath the video screen, we have various tabs. The load game section is where you would load any games. The sorted events area is where we would then sort a group of events or filter a group of events all at once. In the playlist tab, we have a group of playlists that we've saved while we're creating our presentations. So if we want to sort a group of events and save that playlist for later, we would go to the playlist tab and save it. Any movies we create in Steva Plus are automatically saved in the Steva Plus movie section. We can also add movies to our sorted events list that we've already created. The same thing goes for Steva Plus pictures. We can save our pictures from anything that's on screen and then we can actually correspond those pictures into any of our playlists and movies in the future. And our downloads tab is where you will locate all of the things that you've downloaded from the internet and more specifically from the Steva Plus video network. We'll talk about that a little later. Now to the right of the screen in the sorted events playlist area Right below you will find various buttons. The play all button will automatically play every event in the list from zero to the end in full screen mode. And the clear sorted list button is exactly that. It will clear the list. In our next training video, step four, we will talk about exporting the video 